everyone, welcome back to Rachel's Fit Pilates. I have an oblique workout for you today. So we'll be doing lots of side bends, rotation of the spine. That's the functional purpose of the obliques to create those movements. So let's get started. So let's start first with half rollback. So we're gonna come to a seated position with our legs hip distance apart, our feet are flat, our arms gonna be reaching long in front of us. So we will take an inhale, exhale, roll back. Then we're gonna use the left arm, bend the elbow, we're gonna twist and come back to that start position. Again, inhale, exhale, roll back, twist as we bend the right arm and come back up. Again, roll back, bend the arm, twist, come forward, come up, roll back and twist. This is where you feel the obliques in that twisting movement. Roll back and twist here and up. Roll back, twist, arm comes forward. Roll back up, roll back, twist, arm comes forward and up. Roll back, twist, arm comes forward, come up. Roll back, really rolling through that tailbone, bringing that arm back and coming up, roll back, twist, arm comes forward, up, roll back, twist. Are you feeling it in your low abs now? Roll back and twist, arm comes forward, we come up. Let's do one more on each side. Roll back, twist, arm comes forward, come up, roll back, twist, arm comes forward, and we come up. Great. Okay, from here we'll go into obliques. So we're gonna go onto our backs. Let's put the legs up in tabletop. We're gonna have our hands behind our head. Take an inhale, exhale, flex up. This is our starting position. We'll be extending one leg out as one leg comes in and rotating here. That's where we get the obliques. We'll be switching as we try to keep that upper body flexed up and rotating as we do that. So let's begin. Inhale, exhale, flex up as we have the hands behind our head and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to go to 20, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Back in tabletop and we come down. Okay, so from here, let's go into shoulder bridge. So we'll take an inhale, exhale, roll up onto the shoulder blades. Now we're gonna bring the left leg into tabletop. Now your obliques are working here to not rotate through the spine. It's trying to keep your spine in neutral. So from here, we're gonna tap a toe down and come back up. And two, and three, four, five, Six, keep the abs in, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Can you come up, lift the heel. Now we're up onto the ball of the foot. And can we repeat that? Extend the leg out this time. So you can see that left side might want to drop down. This is where we need to use the obliques to stay up. So let's go, one, two, draw the abs in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's come down and then we'll go into the other leg. Draw the abs in and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up onto that toe, the heel is lifted, and let's extend out. One, two, three, four, five. Feeling this in the glute too. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take an inhale. 
and exhale, roll down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into a quadruped position. So we're on our hands and knees. Let's curl the toes under. Take an inhale, exhale, come up just a few inches. And we're gonna hold this here for five, four, three, two, one. Now pick up the left leg. I know you feel that in your quad, but your obliques are working here to prevent rotating, so prevent from sinking down like this. So let's hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place that leg down. Pick up the right leg for one, two, draw the abs in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place that leg down. Come down. Now from here, let's pick up the left leg, extending it out. We're going to bring that leg to the side, so opening up, externally rotating, and then coming back, pointing back. So bring that leg around the side. We are changing the weight here. So as we bring that weight to the side, our obliques are working to prevent from rotating in the spine. Again, out and back, out to the side, back, keep those abs in. This is gonna be three and back, four and back, five and back. Now, as this leg, this supporting leg wants to come over here, make sure it's really truly in the center. So let's do our last five reps like that, noticing, am I sinking into that hip? Can I keep it more upright? Oh wow, that does make it harder for my abs. <laughs> so let's go, five and point, four and three and two, and one. Okay, so we'll go to the other side. So that leg comes out. You can keep this left leg curled under, pointing the right toe, drawing the abs in before we begin. And we'll bring that around to the side and then point to the side again. And point, try not to sink into that hip of the supporting leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Place that right leg down. So now let's go into a push up position. And we're going to bring that leg to the side again. So let's start with the left leg, drawing the abs in first. We're going to go out to the side and point good two bring it up as high as you can really good side bend here four five six seven eight nine and ten good we come down Okay, and we'll go on to the other side. Into that push-up position. Abs are drawn in, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Let's go into a side lying position. So we'll lie on our left side first. Our legs are gonna be extended out to the side. You can have your hand in front of you. And then your other arm is going to be supporting your head here. We'll be bringing both legs up at the same time. So let's go up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's difficult, it's a pelvic stability exercise. You wanna rock back and forth. 
Now let's place that hand on the hip and let's try to come up, reaching that arm long from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, now hold, let's hold for 10, nine, draw the abs in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Definitely felt that in the obliques. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so lying on this side, right side, right hand is extended, place the hand in front of your stomach, head comes down and we lift both legs up at the same time for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place the hand on the hip. Let's come up for one, two. Try not to use that right arm to push ourselves up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay up for one, two. Obliques are holding you up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come down. Let's roll onto our stomachs and come up. We'll do a twist. So let's start by being on our left hip. So lying on your left hip, your right leg is going to be in front of your left foot. Left leg is externally rotated. The right leg is in front of the left ankle. And then the hand is turned out on top of the knee, so resting on the knee. Your supporting hand, the left hand, will be slightly out from your shoulder, so that when we come up, the shoulder's on top of the hand. So we'll take an inhale, exhale, come up. Our legs are extended. Now from here, let's reach up towards the ceiling and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Let's look underneath and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come back up to the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. And back underneath. Five, four, three, two, one. And up for five, four, three, two, one. And back underneath. Five, four, three, two, one one and up for five four three two one and come back down let's go to the other side this time the right leg is externally rotated the left leg is in front of the right ankle we have our hand to the side palm up on the left side we'll take an inhale exhale come up reaching up towards the ceiling and coming down one two three four five and up two three four five and down one two three four five and up two three four five and down two three four five and up and come back down. Okay, so last one, we're gonna get into a push-up position again. And from here, draw the abs in. We're just gonna drop the hips. So dropping the hips and coming back up. Dropping the hips and coming back up. So just feeling those weight changes and then the correction the obliques are doing to try to keep that spine in neutral. So let's begin. One and up, two, and up, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Draw the abs in. Come down into a shell stretch. Okay, so let's come up and we'll just do a side bend to either side just to do a little stretch and then we'll be all done. 
So let's bring the right arm up and stretch to the left side and we'll hold. Bring that arm up, back down, left arm comes up, and we stretch. Come back up. We're all done. Thank you so much for joining me. Please click subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.